Mental health is obviously a big issue in the United States, and it's something that's actually getting worse. It's not getting better. So you have addiction, uh, you have things like PTSD, which is post-traumatic uh, stress disorder, just trauma in general, um, anxiety and depression. That would be the most common things that people seek treatment for. So traditional modalities of therapy, which is talk therapy, have helped people. But a lot of people are coming up against a wall. They're not able to break past certain barriers. And this is where psychedelics come into play and things like ketamine therapy can really shorten or condense the time that somebody makes progress from say like six months to one month. So there, there's psychedelic therapy, is traditional um, you know, plant medicine. So you have things like ayahuasca, uh, ibogaine, you know, DMT, which comes from frog venom. Um, then you have mushroom, psilocybin, LSD, which is synthetic, falls in that category. And then you have ketamine, which is an anesthetic that was created in the 70s used every single day in hospitals, the ER, very safe with people like pediatrics, um, but it has psychedelic properties. So ketamine now falls into that category of psychedelics. So the way our process works is first you schedule an intake. The intake has about an hour long. It's a full bio, cycle, social assessment, medical history, uh, psychological history. At that point, the medical director will determine whether or not you're a good candidate. You come in, we will check your vitals, you'll meet your trip guide. So a trip guide is someone who's going to sit in the room with you and hold space for you. Holding space simply means sharing energy. Psychedelics have a way of stripping you down emotionally, so you're in somewhat of a vulnerable state. So it's very important to have somebody with you who is trained in case you get anxious, in case you have questions, that can hold that space for you and keep you calm. We go into the room, you set your intentions, we open up the ceremony, we treat it very sacred, very ceremonial, really honor the patient uh, for the courage to do the work, honor the ketamine molecule for doing the work that it does, open the ceremony, blindfold comes on, noise canceling headphones, and then a nurse will come in, administer it, typically through an injection in your arm, then you go on to your experience. As you come out of your experience, we'll bring you some hot tea, we'll bring you some fresh fruit, let you slowly reacclimate to your surroundings, um, and then the trip guide will act as a scribe, essentially. A lot of the memories, a lot of the insights that are created during this experience can be somewhat fleeting, so the trip guide will start writing down what you're verbalizing. You can start discussing about what you thought, what you felt, what you saw, and they'll write that down for you. You take that with you to your therapy session or to home to process of it. When you're ready, go into our integration room and you know wait for your ride. It's a really cool experience. The way I like to, to analogy is that like, I can tell you about Disneyland until you go there and you leave and you actually feel it. It doesn't do it justice. Academy has a way of actually opening the heart and viewing the world and people with a lot more love and compassion, which really helps change your perspective on how you view a lot of things in life. Like right now, we had a patient come in, he's an adolescent, uh, 17 years old, was having suicidal ideations. So we brought him in, did a medical intake, and treated him right now. And it's, ketamine is being shown as an 85% efficacy in mitigating somebody's suicidal ideations to the point where they could actually assimilate new skills and get past whatever situation is causing this issue, um, along with talk therapy. Ketamine and talk therapy, you know, back and forth is really the gold standard uh, for progress and change. We had a doctor come in uh, last week and, you know, had some, a lot of anger issues, a lot of resentments. And after the session, he was able to go in and see his father who he had resentments toward. And the ketamine helped him look at things through a different perspective. He was able to see that his dad was doing the best he could with what he had at that time. And as a parent, I'm a parent myself, you do the best you possibly can. No one wants to cause harm intentionally to their child. He was able to see this and connect the dots himself and just express and move to another level of compassion and empathy for his dad, removing that anger and resentment. And anyone that's ever been upset or angry knows how emotionally draining it is. 
and when you're happy and that's lifted, you feel lighter, you feel a lot better. I think the outlook's very bright. It's getting more and more popular, so people are searching online more and more where to find help, and they're asking their therapists as well, hey, you know, where can I do ketamine? Where can I do psilocybin? Where can I do MDMA? So the questions are already coming up. So I think it has a bright future. I think it's going to really help change what mental health looks like in this country and the world. So I'm really excited about it.